Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd talk about how um, Affinity Photo version 2 handles raw files. And uh, it has a new feature for handling raw files that I think is really cool and I'm going to explain it right here. So when you initially bring a raw file in, uh, you can edit a lot more because the raw file has more image information, has more of a dynamic range, it has more values in it. When you convert it over to kind of a more standard uh, photo um, file format, you lose a lot of that flexibility. Uh, so, you, so in order to change certain things, you would have to go back to the original raw file and start all over with editing. Uh, well, Affinity Photo version 2 actually has a way to get around this, which is really cool. So this is a uh, raw image file r right now, and we're in what's called the uh, develop persona which basically is the raw uh, photo editor in uh, affinity uh, photo version 2 so we're going to go down here and check shadows and highlights and i'm going to bring the highlights down some to get some more detail in the sky and maybe the shadows up a little bit uh let's look here and get some contrast maybe maybe we want to adjust the overall exposure a little bit so we we can make all these adjustments here and then we can go into the regular photo editor and uh, do some other edits in it the problem with this is that if we don't get this uh, stage correct generally you can't go back to it um, in a lot of photo editors um, you can go back to it if you make the raw image a smart object in Photoshop but they have a different way of doing it in Affinity Photo. So if we go up here and it says output, by default it's pixel layer. And pixel layer will make it into pixels and it loses a lot of the, the data from the raw image. So you don't have as much flexibility. So what you want to do is pick one of the raw layer um, options. One's raw layer embedded and the other one's raw layer linked. Raw layer linked is linked to the actual original file so they both have to be in the uh, same folder otherwise um, it won't be able to it won't be able to find the original raw image and if it can't find the original raw image uh, then you won't be able to re-edit it so it's probably best to use the embedded version which takes a copy of the raw file and puts it in the um, affinity photo file the problem with that is the file is going to be a lot bigger uh, a file will be something like 300 to 400 uh, uh, megabytes in size in that case, which is pretty large. But if you're only doing uh, certain edits to certain photos that you want to be able to go back to, or you're only doing certain edits that are more complex, you can just you can kind of save the ones that you really think you might want to go back to in the full format, and then other ones you can save them in using the pixel layer if you want. So you can go back and forth between the formats. So we're going to go raw embedded right now. And we're going to go to develop right here. And then it takes us to the photo persona. This layer right here is the raw um, image layer right here. And we can put like adjustment layers on top of this and such. and. Uh, and, and do whatever we want to the photograph. But if we want to go back to the original um, raw image, we can double click right here. And it brings us back and it gives us our, uh, our settings again. And you can see from here, it actually keeps these uh, settings. So it's the shadows are 25% and the highlights are negative 100%. And the contrast is at 9%. So it kept all of the adjustments we, we made. If we had saved it in a pixel level, it would have zeroed all of these out again so that it would be at zero. And it would take out the additional information that's in the raw photo so we would lose some flexibility. So that's how you can bring uh, the raw photo information into an affinity photo image so that you can re-edit uh, the raw information later, later, which is nice because you can do other adjustment layers in the uh, photo persona level, and 
if you decide, ah, I should have brought the, the shadow detail up a little more, or can I get more shadow detail or highlight detail, you can go back to the original raw image. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.